Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand everything is planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order book. Remember, those books are mandatory because they show you how the world really works. Also, those who donate to the Cash App, Patreon, much love, keep it coming. And then also, those who are shopping at both stores, much love, keep it coming. And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. And it's doing exactly what we said it was going to do, guys. Right now, the Fed is letting us know everything. They haven't lied about anything because they have total control. They don't need to lie anymore, guys. The fact is the market is pulling back. We already saw that. We know back is right around the corner. Plus, they did over $100 billion in the repo market for Friday and Monday that came due on Tuesday. So, guys, make sure we're definitely paying attention to the actual indicators. This article says the looming death cross is here. Now, guys, do we only look at charts? No, we do not. Now, do we look at charts sometimes? Yes, especially when it comes to the actual stable coins. But anything else, guys, we look at the geopolitical events that are happening. And we see a lot of events going on. And let's definitely pray for those in Gaza, guys, definitely. There's a lot of distractions going on. That's the reason why you have to keep focused on what really matters. Now, guys, getting over to the actual indicators, do not forget you have your volume, you have your tether, you have the USDC. We have the Fed, which is very important. We know Jerome is in the house. Plus, who else we had in the house this morning? Janet Yellen. So, guys, I want to be bringing you Janet Yellen and the Fed. Do not forget to pay attention to the actual app, guys. Very important. Plus, like I stated, guys, we definitely have back tomorrow now just like i said i don't see that big pullback like we did the last two months but i definitely see a pullback at the end of the month unless grayscale pulls something off do not forget that lockup period ends at the end of june early july so this is very very crucial guys we can take a big move up or a big move down either way it's going to be temporary of course we'll settle back down what else do we see also as the Bitcoin dominance is rising where everything is moving down. And then plus, guys, getting over to the actual crypto news, we have Shiba, Chili's, Keep, also being listed on Coinbase Pro, which also is letting us know the bear market is here. Remember, guys, the only way these exchanges make money is off of fees. That's how they made majority of their money, guys. So definitely Coinbase wants to ramp up more of these cryptos to make the money and the fees as we're headed down. We know the Fed pumped us. We know the Fed needs to shrink liquidity. We know we're not going to hear that on any other channel except for this one. Because why? I give you the truth. Yes, the truth hurts, but what does it do? That's right. It sets you free. Now we have the potential XRP and XLM killer. An alternate to the SWIFT protocol, guys. We have six clovers, which was created by PayPal employees. And we know all about PayPal, guys. Launches a cross-border payment system, rapid network on Algorand. And if you've done your research on Algorand's creator, guys, Rome, MIT, which spells the New World Order. So, guys, make sure you're keeping an eye on this protocol. Now we have Jack Dorsey lobbying the Ethiopian government to hold Bitcoin. And we see all the puppets over in the emerging markets, guys. Now we have Dow, Decentralized Autonomous Organization. Now, guys, I tell you how important this AI is going to be with not a single person involved. Now we have the Binance Back Traveler is launching a decentralized Airbnb. Also, speaking of DAO, we have BitDAO is launching after a 230 million fund round led by Peter Thiel. Uh, connected to who? That's right, PayPal. Elon Musk, PayPal. Now we have Fox launches a 100 million creative fund for NFT content creation. 
And like these meme cryptos, same thing with NFTs, it is helping speed up adoption. And then we have the Kyber Network announces Polygen integration and liquidity mining program. And interoperability with these different protocols, we know how important this is going to be because this is all going to connect at the end, guys. Now we have Go Connect allowing customers to pay with crypto through BitPay. Again, guys, more adoption. And then lastly, we have the Chinese University of Hong Kong partners with Consensus launches a digital health passport. Now, guys, I've done several videos last year, way before this even got talked about or started. Ben Gertzel had already stated what was going to happen before it happened because, of course, he's helping working on it. And he stated that because of the C word, they would run that technology right behind it. That's the reason why I bring you videos of the people that's talking about it because they're the ones working on it behind the curtain. So we see the C word has brought in all this technology to build this fourth industrial revolution. They laid down the foundation. Now everybody can get back to work. Why do they want everybody back to work? Because what do they do? They create the problem. They already created the problem. Now we have all these people out of work. Now they're thinking they're going to get back to work. But guess what? There's not going to be any jobs. Remember what Jerome Powell stated. I'm worried that some of these people are going to get left behind, and they are. So then they're going to get the reaction. And what is the solution? Free money. But these people are going to be sitting at home getting this free money, but not understanding the cost they're going to pay. Because we know when it comes to the New World Order, it's all planned out. But that's all I have for you guys. Don't forget about the books, Crypto Teacher, and the New World Order book. Also, if you're new to cryptos, Coinbase, BitChu, Binance, and I forget, book links and crypto links are in the description. Also, the Crypto Teacher Stock Channel. Do not forget about the Stock Channel, Crypto Teacher Stocks. You have your Cobalt, your Chip Stocks, your Banking, your Gaming. Why everybody's sitting at home, got that home stocks, the C word, the Biotech Stocks. And while everybody's at home getting free money or waiting on that free money, what are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks and y'all have a wonderful day. We're going to a different economy and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go. But clearly we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're going, we're recovering, but to a different economy. And it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for, for many workers. In Silicon Valley and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance, agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. This effort, and China has big plans for this. They intend to seed um, their digital yuan into the global environment by giving it away to visitors at next winter's Olympics. When they arrive at the airport, they're going to get di yuan digital wallets. They're going to receive digital yuan. They're going to use it uh, throughout their visits to Beijing, and then they're going to take it back to their home countries. They see this as a huge advantage. Why? Because who controls the underlying protocols, who un controls the underlying standards of the future of money will control the future of money.